Hi there, it's Tyler from electroshaverguide.com and here we're reviewing the Braun Mobile Shaver, the M90. And there's also an M60 and an M30. The difference here is this M90 has a pop-up trimmer, which is located on the back. Whereas the M90, or sorry, the M60 and the M30 won't have this pop-up trimmer. And there's a few differences with the colors as well. So this is marketed as a mobile shaver or a traveling shaver, one that's quite portable. Uh, it's pretty small in the hand and you can kind of, you know, keep it in the office, keep it in the car, or, you know, take it somewhere on the weekend. Uh, it runs off two AA batteries, so there's an open and a close switch. And what you do there is you just twist the cap, open the shape, open the base, and you can slip the batteries in. And Braun does advise that when you're not using the shaver, um, that you remove these batteries. So if you only use this a couple times a month or you know once a week, then you're probably going to want to take these batteries out when you're not using um, the shaver. And you can twist that back in, and then there's a twist cap. And what that does is it opens up and allows you to use the shaver. So if this is um, right side up, you can't turn it on. So it's kind of like a locking mechanism. So when you click it back down, you can turn it on. And shave like that. For cleaning the shaver, you can turn it on and run it under um, warm water. You can apply some liquid soap, run it, and rinse it off. And then when you're done, you can actually remove the foil, okay, and let it dry. You can put the foil back on once it's dried. And it also comes with a little cleaning brush at the base. You can take the cleaning brush out and brush away any stubble as well. Don't brush um, onto the shaving foil though, you probably don't want to do that. So that's basically it. Uh, it's a mobile shaver, it's small. Keep in mind that it only retails for about $25, so it is kind of a cheap electric shaver. It's certainly not a high-end product, but let's give it a go and see how it shaves. Okay, here's just an up-close view of the shaver. You can see it's nice and small. Um, the twist cap twists down and you can turn it on and you've got the pop-up trimmer in the back and um, to install the batteries there's the open and close buttons there and you just twist that and install the batteries one thing I did not mention is if you're going to use the shaver often and you're going to clean it with running water you know every day or quite a few times a week you're just going to want to apply some machine oil to the foil maybe once a week or once every two weeks just to keep it in good shape. You can see I've got about two days worth of stubble here so we'll test out the Braun mobile shaver the M90 and just see how it performs. Okay, so I just finished shaving there with the Braun Mobile Shave M90, and you can clearly see that the shaver struggled uh, shaving down my facial hair. I've had two days worth of stubble growing in. I've tested the shaver out with one day's worth of growth, and it did perform a bit better, but at the end of the day, I personally would not use this shaver on a regular basis. So if you have thick facial hair, you have to shave every day, or you have to shave every other day, I would not recommend the shaver. You are just going to struggle trying to shave your beard, and you won't enjoy it. Uh, but on the other hand, if you have facial hair that maybe grows in not too thick, just maybe on your upper lip area or your chin area, and you maybe only shave once a week or just a couple times a week, um, 
you know, it could be a good match for you. It didn't perform too badly near my sideburns and my upper lip. And when I've tested it before, when I had my free hand, I was able to pull tight. It did perform okay. But for me, on my chin area and my neck area, um, it was just really a mess. It wasn't really good. Uh, but people have written in, giving positive reviews to this shaver. Uh, and some of them have stated that their facial hair isn't very thick. So, at the end of the day, my final recommendation would be that if you have thick facial hair, facial hair like mine, you have to shave every day or every other day. I think you'll be disappointed with this shaver. But if you only have small amounts of growth, you only shave maybe once or twice a week, uh, you could get away with using it just on your upper lip and chin area. And remember, it's only $25. This is a cheap electric razor. Uh, coming into this, I wasn't expecting much, and I'm not really surprised. But for those that don't have thick facial hair, you know, it might be a good match for you. So if you do choose to get it, I hope you get good results. And like always, you can visit electricshaverguide.com for more shaver reviews.